it's a cold morning it's about six degrees out here at the moment a couple of days ago I made a mistake and I'm not sure possibly another driver did and uh, had a bit of a bingo and bent the bull bar sad to say that the uh, other vehicle wasn't so lucky and um, but yes the police are working all that out in the meantime I need a new bull bar so I'm gonna take this guy to go and pick it up I get a measuring tape and make sure that I know the measurements and see if it'll fit in the back otherwise we're taking the trailer anyway let's get cracking so I haven't cleaned out the back of this in a while but uh, 1900 is going to bring it to just over the edge of this 700 mil will fit easily in the back so I might need to grab some tie down straps okay that's how you carry snatch them straps isn't it no sorry I'm tired these are octopus straps and those are uh, tie down straps that's how you carry them anyway all right so uh, I'm still tired I'm still nervous about driving at the moment having had an accident I second guess everything I do I'm gonna ask the coppers if they can give me the footage now the exact incident that happened um, I t-boned somebody did a set of traffic lights the coppers are telling me that I ran the red light several witnesses tell me the light was green um, I stand to lose my license for three months over this uh, because I've accrued the maximum number of points. How I've done that is this same set of lights. I've got a couple of red light finds and I'm normally very cautious and a reasonably slow driver. Um, and I try very hard to stick to the road rules. I suspect that this particular set of lights has got a slightly shorter yellow light, um, potentially for revenue raising, I'm not sure. But I think what's happened is I've approached, it's turned yellow and I've got to look up and think, uh, because I'm a taller bloke I can't see up very much out of these Land Rovers so I think by the time that yellow light's been out of my vision it's changed to red and I've crossed in just on that fringe of the red light and uh, yeah the other guy look I, I can't lay claim to actions that I didn't or that I don't positively remember I have evidence of but I suspect maybe he was a little bit quick off the mark on the green um, I don't know. I haven't really seen anything from that side of the report. I'm going to ask the coppers for the footage and see if they'll, they'll give me a copy. Either way, mistakes were made and it looks very much like they were my fault. So uh, I'm second guessing driving this morning. I, I'm still nervous until I can come up over this. Maybe it's the autistic side of things, but uh, yeah. I'm still nervous. I'm taking the 4 b today and not the 6 b and then I might take a break from driving for a few days. Turn that off. Well, it's cold this morning. Well, my GoPro up here just went flat and my spare battery is in a box in the back instead of on the seat where they should be. So uh, we'll deal with that. It's cold in here. Um, all my temperature sensors have gone flat. Uh, this one I can vaguely read out 5.8 Celsius. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's on the gearbox. So we're gonna idle for a little bit. Let things go. Okay, we've got some cash out. We're gonna head off. I'm on the Bluetooth mic at the moment. So audio is probably, sounds like it's been recorded on a potato, but uh, that's the deal to get over the noise at the moment. I'm being ultra careful about the traffic today. See how we go. I do need breakfast at some point, but uh, I'm gonna get to a quiet place before I do that. All right, got myself breakfast. Come on, better my dog before halfway there. up everything in the back here, we'll unload it.
the next morning. That's where the winch oil comes out. All right, so gearbox coil comes out there. I think they use grease in that side. Well, lesson learned. How do you wonder that made mince meat out of the other car? There's a fair hunk of steel in that. And there's bits of broken glass everywhere. That's fun. All right, and a couple of spaces, I think, came out of here too. Hopefully I'll work out where they went. All right. I may be looking for some new bolts too. Yeah, these are a bit knackered. Probably need to muster a few bucks for a couple of new bolts. With luck, YouTube will pay me today because I have four bucks left in my account after I paid excess and insurance fees and I'm gonna pay a fine, all that stuff, I've got no money now. Now we can kind of see the deflection across the bull bars and the difference. So this one here is the new one, that's the old one. You can probably see it's bent in a fair bit more. some nuts and bolts mainly because these are the ones that were in there I had just enough money to get six of these we really need eight um, but I'll do six of the worst ones and I'll swap the other two out on payday next week okay that shank is going to be a problem even with a washer we're still not going to be able to do it up properly a buddy stopped past and bought me lunch because I got four dollars to my name and uh, also helped me get this uh, the winch fair lead plate on which is quite heavy definitely needed two people in the meantime I think maybe I've put a bit much oil in the uh, the winch body here because it's leaking out those bolt holes I put the drain pan under there anyway so now I'm gonna get the rattle gun in and start putting bolts back in on tight and I put the light bar back on. I had a donation while I was sitting here. A buddy stopped past, saw this and said that's too weedy, you need a real one. So he went and got me a real one. So at some point this one is wired straight up through the headlight switch and uh, there's no relays in these, these are wired straight up through the headlight switch too. Just the way Lucas liked it. So at some point I will put a relay in and I'll put that one in. So today 
this one's going back on. The reason I'm putting it on upside down is putting it on the top. The, uh, the powers that be complain that it might be a hazard if somebody goes over the bull bar. So I hang it down low to avoid that. I know there's lots of other flaws in that logic, but don't argue with the authorities. Good. All right, this is one last thing left to do. I've got to wind my winch up with a bit of tension on it. Now yeah, I need to enable the dog clutch. there for now all right so that's the bull bar done there will be more to do with this coming soon but uh this is a good reminder be careful on the roads in any case um i'm gonna go back to uh trying to work out what i did wrong and uh yeah there will be more repairs there's always repairs i got a delivery of 20 wheel bearings coming in at some point we'll be doing wheel bearings on all of these so uh there will be some i noticed in a recent video I lost a couple of subscribers when I did something non-vehicle related. And I guess that's the case when YouTube pushes you into niches. In uh, my case, I don't do a niche. I have a whole bunch of things I do. But uh, I guess if that was their choice. And in any case, um, we'll see what happens. We'll see you in another video. Hope it was interesting. <laughs>